Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we got one system from the user Pluto Neon today in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending their system and their system is called the Olympian Solar System so I'm assuming it's based off Mount Olympus and the Greek gods should be interesting. Um, so let's see what they have prepared for us here so let's have a look see it should be in workshop ready for us to go. Where are we? The Olympian solar system. There it is. Okay. Let's see what we have got here. Hello. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I see glowing stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, Helios star. So, the Olympian solar system. A system consisting of the of imagination of many Greek gods and titans as planetoids. Oh, excellent. Okay. The idea came from the fact that there are a couple of Roman Olympians and the other great gods that are missing their own major celestial bodies like Juno, Minerva, and Vulcan. Now, Vulcan's obviously a a big, uh, a big name that we all know for the uh, theoretical planet that would have been closer than Mercury to the Sun. Uh, the closest thing we got to celestial bodies in the name are a couple of lame asteroids and tiny non-spherical moons that no one acknowledges. There you go, because I believe um, Juno is used as a moon of... I think it's around it's around Jupiter, isn't it? Um, and I think there is an object called Vulcan somewhere as well. So, yeah, it's true. They're, they're not really used for any large objects. You know, they could, they could have named maybe one of the dwarf planets... You know, like, obviously we have Pluto. Um, but, you know, they could have named some of the other dwarf planets, possibly after that. Or maybe they're saving those names for a mysterious planet one day. We will see. Um, but, yeah, anyways. So, I had to bring just to those poor, inferiorized deities, as well as the solar system planet gods, whose uh, planets do not resemble their namesake very well. Okay. To minimize complications, I switched the Greek names to avoid potential bugs and errors that may arise from using the Roman planet names. Roman gods are also tend to have... Uh, broad inches in Greek ones, like Pluto being a never world and a wealthy deity, so Greek names help to keep the planet themes a little simpler. Okay, awesome. I actually started making this system a year ago when it was originally supposed to be just the original 12 Olympians plus uh, Dionysus, Hades, uh, Oranos, and uh, Gaia. Then the newer updates came and they all broke the planets I had, forcing me to recreate them from scratch um, with new options. There was also a 30 planet policy for the NG subscriber system uploads, which forced me to research at least 50 more deities to do. Uh, planetize. Um, I stay away from the mortal or demigod heroes and BC hybrids like Hercules and uh, Chiron, or is it Chiron? Uh, they are both better off being honored as constellations. There used to be some exploits where I put planets inside planets or made them super giant, but not have been patched. Uh, but those have been patched um, as now they will disintegrate if I try to do that. Okay. If you do not know most of the Greek gods, uh, niches, and backgrounds, here is a list of what they are, so you understand the theme of each planetoid featured in the system. Okay. So there we go. So that's the full list there. Interesting. I like the glow in as well. Okay, we'll see. So, first off, we'll go to. Um, okay, if they're not in order. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll, go, we'll do it in the order of the name. So, we'll use the search. So, first off, we'll go to Athena. It's over here. So, Athena. Wisdom and strategy associated with olives. There you go. Nice mix of colour there. So it starts off green north, has a little bit of a yellow blend, and then goes into the red, and then the deep maroon red at the bottom there. Looking good. Then we have Aphrodite over here. Love and beauty associated with roses and violets. Oh, yes. Looking good. See, I'm not as familiar with the Greek gods. I know more about the Roman Roman gods. I obviously ones Aphrodite are named after. Um, but the Greek ones I necessarily don't know as much. Obviously, I know Zeus. Obviously, is the king of the gods, which is the equivalent of like Jupiter. Obviously, I know Poseidon. They're probably the two most known. I know Athena um, somewhat as well. But not all of them. Obviously, Hades. I'm sure they're in there as well. Um, but we will, uh, we will see. So, Aphrodite. There it is. Then we have Apollo. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I know Apollo as well. So there he is. So, it's got a glowing. Ooh. Fancy. So Apollo, music and uh, prophecy associated with the sun and gold. Yeah, looking good. I like the particles, actually. Yeah, he did say no play in this sim as well. <laughs> so that's fine. There you go. Next up, we've got Hermes. Yeah, I recognise that one. Says Hermes. So travel and cunning, assisting, guiding souls to the afterlife and is uh, synonymous with Mercury, the Roman god and the elemental metal. There we go. So next up we have Zeus, so that's also the equivalent of Jupiter, king of the gods. Storm is in order, there he is. Okay. Nice. Cool, I like the theme of this, we've never had anyone do this. It's, it's pretty cool, I mean it'd be cool if um, 
Someone should do a Roman one now. That'd be cool. Have them all, uh, have them all in there. Um, anyway, so next up we're heading to Demeter. Agriculture and the seasons. Extremely dependent on her daughter, uh, her phone for warmth. I do apologise if I'm butchering at the pronunciation of any of the gods here. Um, but yeah, there we go. I like the colour on that. Actually, that's quite a nice theme that one's got going on there. Nice. There's the moon as well, so the daughter. Is it Persephone or Persephone? I, really, I don't know. I really do apologise. But um, yeah, there we are. So next up we got uh, is it Hepaestus? Hepaest? Yeah, I, I do apologise if I am butchering these. Um, blacksmithery and volcanic activity. There you go. So look underneath there. I want to have a little uh, look under those clouds and atmosphere. There you go. Oh yeah. Nice. If only there's a way we can make oceans glow. It always looks like it's glowing through the atmosphere, that nice orange though. But if only there's a way we could actually have a button to switch on molten rock on the surface, despite how hot or cold the object is. Uh, next up we've got Ares. Again, that's probably another one of the more familiar names. War and Bloodlust. So I guess that's your Mars equivalent. Oh, look at all the explosions and stuff going on. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was taking ages to get that all right. There you are. Very cool. Nice effects. Very nice effects. That's awesome. Is there any more? Any moon? Oh, there's a moon. What's this? Thanatos. Okay. Nice. Next up, we got Artemis. Hunting and female empowerment. Associated with the moon and silver. There you go. Similar to that Apollo with the gold, with the coloured uh, fireworks. You very rarely see anyone use the firework effects, so it's good to see them. I mean, I barely have ever used them. But there's the firework effects. Yeah, they're kind of a forgotten feature, actually. Maybe we have to do, like, a forgotten features video, because there's a lot of stuff, like, buried away that you don't really know about. Um, yeah, that could be a good top ten, actually. Maybe I'll do that. But, yeah, anyway, so there we go. There's the craters on it. Looking pretty good. High detail on that. Very nice. Uh, next up, we got Hester. Yeah. Homer and the health. At some point, she gives up her seat. Oh, yeah, on the count like the Council of the Gods, I believe. Yeah. Then we have Hera. Hera, Hera. Marriage and fidelity associated with the peacock. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, she looks like the peacock planet. Oh, that's a cool feat. I like that. Look at that. That's really cool. That's a really, really cool design. I like that. Then we have Poseidon, or sea. The uh, Greek version of Neptune. The god of the sea. And earthquakes. There you go. Nice, so a nice all blue rocky world there. Made of oceans. It's an all ocean world, isn't it? Yeah, rocky core underneath. Nice. Looking good. So let's get old Poseidon. Right, now we have other gods. So we've got uh, Dino... Dino... This one I... I, I don't know how to say this one. There it is. Wine and Madness replaces Hestia after she steps down. Okay. Then we have uh, Eros. Attraction and Repulsion. Smothered by his clingy mother, Aphrodite. Yep. Nice. Then we have... Oh, yeah, oh yeah we did this one earlier. Purse, purse phone, isn't it? which is the moon of Demeter there. Then we have Hades, obviously probably one of the other more uh, known ones. So the Greek equivalent of the Pluto, you know, the god of the underworld. Um, so the underworld and judgment of the dead. It's Hades. Has a moon as well. There's uh, Charon, Chiron. Uh, ferryman of souls across the river Styx or Assyrian. Yes, I know, yes. Of course. Always seen in bits of like media, you have the guy with the boat taking them to like the underworld region and, and things like that. Yeah, awesome. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Fanatos. Uh, oh. Fanatos. Death. Ares relies on him to defeat for defeat to be possible in war. There you go. It's a very dark, mysterious world as well. In orbit of Ares over there. So then we have uh, 
Weapons here. S sleep. It's a mysterious zebra looking world. Or zebra, depending on where you are from the world. So, zebra, zebra looking world. Uh, then we have Iris. Obviously, a familiar name that we know in our own solar system here. Discord and Strife. Interesting. Then we have Titans. So, we have Helios. Obviously, the sun itself over here. Then we have Prometheus. Also reminds me of one of the uh, Alien films. One of the newer ones. Uh, Fire and for Forefort. S sculptor of Mankind. Then we have Epithemus. After Fort and Excuses. Sculptor of Wildlife. There you go. Then we have Selene. The Moon. Down here. Then we have Cronus. Nice coloured rings on there. Look at that. Hey, looking good. The Harvest. Violent devourer of his home. Offspring in fear of being ups, upsurred by them. Nice. Then we have Rhea. Obviously a familiar name if you know any of Saturn's moons. Over here. Motherhood and fertility. Saves Zeus from the paranoid appetite of Cronus until he grew up to overthrow them. There you go. Nice. Then we have Primordials down at the bottom here. So we got Oranos. Oh, I like the colour on that. It reminds me of Uranus under those like X-ray images back in like the night late nineties, and I think that's when it was. But like, it reminds me of those like X-ray pictures of Uranus. It's pretty cool. Um, then we have, or so this is what this one's Oranos, isn't it? Uh, next up, we got Gaia over here. The Earth, Mother of the Titans. Actually, is Earth as well. Hey, with a green look to it. Very nice. Then we have Nynx. The Knight. Ooh, pretty far away as well. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Almost reminds me of the night sky with like, the white dots representing stars on it. That's cool. And then Erbus. Oh, oh, that is pretty spooky, isn't it? Oh, the really dark. Darkness. And then lastly, we have Tartarus over here. There you go. Yeah, some of these I've, I've never even heard of, actually. Maybe I need a little more uh, philosophy lessons on some of these. But, um, yeah, Tartarus here. Nice. The Abyss, both a primordial entity and a place in the underworld where eternal torment awaits the most wicked and blasphemous souls. There you go. So that is the Olympian solar system. Honestly, a really, really cool concept. And I'm really surprised that no one's done this up to this point. Yeah, but we need a Roman one now. But yeah, this is this is cool. Um, I really think this is a really cool idea. And yeah, massive congrats to Pluto Neon for making this. And a, a good job to him because I bet you these those firework effects would have taken ages to get exactly right um, there. Look at this. See, look at that. That's pretty awesome. That was around uh, this one. And then it was around Apollo, wasn't it, over here? On opposite sides of the star as well. Very interesting. Yeah. I think the one actually, um, that one is better than Apollo. Our, our Timis over here nicer effects but yeah there you go i think that'll have to be the thumbnail i think actually i have to try and get that in there somehow but um yeah that's a really really cool looking world and yeah again massive thank you to pluto neon for making this really really enjoyed that and yeah hope you guys did as well but that all said done everybody make sure you have a great day out there stay safe let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well and also subscribe for more and help us on a journey to uh 50 000 subscribers now but yeah that all said done everybody like i said make sure you have a great day out there stay safe now i'll see you in the next video goodbye